the focus of attention for science aboard the International Space Station is from uh, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. And uh, standing by there is uh, Lori Meggs, and she uh, has an update for us. Uh, Lori, you have some results on some exercise uh, experiments on board, huh? That's right. Do we run differently in space than we do on Earth? Well, the answer may surprise you. A study called Treadmill Kinematics looked into how astronauts run on a treadmill on the space station. I recently spoke with, or ran with, no, I spoke with a principal investigator to learn more. The idea behind the study was to collect motion capture and ground reaction force data from astronauts as they exercise on the space station in order, so, in order for us to be able to quantify these and then compare those motions to how they're performed on Earth. So how did it actually work on station? It was very simple actually. All we wanted to do was capture uh, data during an actual exercise session for the astronauts. We collected data six times from each of our subjects and essentially all they did was place a video camera up to view the side while they performed their exercise and the treadmill that's on the space station automatically uh, captures the ground reaction force data. So we would downlink the video data, downlink the ground reaction force data, and then we would start uh, computing what the peak forces were and what the joint motion patterns were. So it's very straightforward. How many subjects did you end up with? We had eight subjects, seven males and one female. So tell me, do we have results yet? We do have results. Uh, there's a couple uh, things that are very interesting. First is that the running style or the running motion that we use in space is pretty much the exact same running motion that we use on the ground. So people run in zero gravity the same as they run in one gravity, even though they have to wear a harness and a bungee that connects them to the floor. And On the surface, that may be a so what? Well, there's a big so what. First of all, the exercise that they do on Earth we can say that the way they're going to move in space is going to be the same, so we can start to uh, have better confidence that the way we exercise, or the way we pre uh, prescribe our exercise on Earth would be the same as in space. But more importantly, and this is where motor control experts may be interested, we have things in our body that, uh, that, are, that we use for control, such as the otoliths that rely on gravity. These data suggest that either when we're in zero gravity, we turn that information off, or we override it, so it's not an important control mechanism. And I think for people studying how the brain works and how the brain controls motion, this is a really big uh, study or a really big result. Because in the past, most of these studies where people have tried to look at how gravity affects motion have really been focusing on smaller motions like reaching and grabbing something. And this is the only time that we have a large scale uh, amount of data with a pretty large motion like running where you got multiple joints moving very quickly. To me, it was pretty amazing that the people pretty much run the same exact way in space as they do on the ground. What are the earth applications for this experiment? We had to collect some pretty sophisticated data in a very difficult location. And we developed some ways using single camera uh, video and then being able to convert that data into um, the coordinates that we could compute joint angles with. Th these are techniques that could be used by practitioners in any area where they, don't ha they, they can't afford or they can't bring a $100,000 motion capture system to where they're doing their data collection. They could do what we did for sports or for rehab or anything like that. So we've developed some methodologies that could be useful for people on the ground. Anything else you want to say about it? Yeah, the ground reaction force data, that's the other part. That This is what's really important for the exercise uh, efficiency. What we find is that the exercise forces that you get in zero G are much less than in one G, but they increase with speed. So what we want and, and would like our astronauts to do is run faster. If we can have faster running, maybe they do interval training where they run fast and rest and run fast and rest, they can get a better response for their bone uh, growth than if they run at slower speed for a longer period of time. What's the reaction to that when you tell an astronaut, run faster? <laughs> uh, some of them, they think that's great because they're runners. Some of them maybe aren't so excited because that's not their favorite sort of exercise. But we're hoping that we can show these data to the astronauts now. So instead of us just saying run faster because we think it's good, we can show them run faster because we know it's good. And if you'd like to find out more about this and other human research investigations, go to nasa.gov slash station. We have an astronaut there at the helm today, Payload Operations Director T.J. Kramer, uh, directing the team of flight controllers here, busy at work on a Friday.